The tragic circumstances last week in El Reno, Oklahoma, that saw the deaths of several storm chasers, as well as injuries to the Weather Channel's tornado hunt team, have brought a new examination to the business of storm chasing. We're joined now by the Weather Channel's Jim Cantori. Jim, was what we saw last week a random occurrence or perhaps more inevitable? It was absolutely inevitable. Uh, we, we saw this coming years ago as, in addition to the scientists and spotters, all of a sudden people started coming out in droves. There are tours. Uh, those tours have also increased as well. And I mean, I, I'm going to be honest with you. The other day when I was in Perkins, Oklahoma, chasing with Reed Timmer, you know, it, it was like a Rolling Stones concert just let out. I mean, there's just so much traffic out there. And, and I think the game changer, though, happened a couple of weeks ago. Let me show you these video shots from, uh, from Sean Casey and, and Brandon Ivey from TIV2. This is a high testosterone environment, okay? These guys are in the middle of a tornado with an armored vehicle. This is what Sean does, okay? This is what he's paid to do, get in there and film the inside of a tornado. But I think what that did uh, was kind of say, all right, game up, everybody. Look at where we are. Now everybody else says, oh, well, we got to get that close, too. No, no, you don't have to get that close because they have an armored vehicle. They have a vehicle that's made to ride into the middle of a tornado. That may have been too close, to be honest with you, but that's their job. That's exactly what they were sent out to do. In addition to the spotters, which absolutely provide a very valuable service here, we now have dozens and dozens and dozens of thrill seekers out there. And unfortunately, uh, you know, that's just way too many people on the road. Just look at this graphic right here. This is a look, all those little red dots represent GPS locations of storm spotters. This does not even count the thrill seekers out there. So you can almost double or even triple this when you add that in there. But they are in, that, all those colors, guys, represent the actual rotation of the tornado and how big it was. Uh, remember, we've only had the preliminary report of this tornado. I would be shocked if it wasn't bigger and stronger when the National Weather Service actually puts out their final report. Shocked at the pictures I've seen and even some of the damage I've seen so far. So everybody was way too close to this tornado.